Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, this is the fourth PTV Visum um, lesson tutorial about path and skim search. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to teach you is how to work with path or shortest path. Um, sometimes in the network you need to see where is your shortest path from a zone to another zone based on some criteria or your shortest path from another uh, network object so in order to show the shortest path you need to go to graphics shortest path search this window will open here and you need to go to PRT which is the private vehicle transport system and you can choose from here a zone node a main node in this example I will use the node and your root choice could be one of these things okay so let's try T0 which is the free flow um, travel time so you will go to any node from here and click to the next node and it's now showing you the shortest path based on your criteria you can adjust your transport system to be car so it will give you a different path because there is some constraint on these things okay uh, if you go to choose the t current which is the congested travel time your choice will not change because it seems that both of them are equal you can go also for distance and as you can see the distance is shorter okay but it could be that the speed is lower on these things uh, and you can choose impedance as well okay go to initialize and let's try it for a zone okay so we'll go to a zone and here I have my zone numbers in these boxes and I will click on T0 from this zone to this zone and here I have my path okay these lines are my connectors showing from the zone centroid to the node so it's coming from the connector directly and then using the road network by using this path let me change my choice and as you can see it is changed now if you go by free flow travel time this is your path however you can go by the congested travel time and it will give you this path you can try it also for a distance and it's giving you a different path all of these choices is related to the network um, where you have maybe different speeds on the links different travel times and so on uh, you can go also to initialize you can do it also for a main node if you have a main node these path search are very useful to see uh, maybe in the future you want to change the speed of a link um, you want to build a new link so they are useful in many other cases uh, this will finish the part for the path search the next part uh, is going to be about skim matrices for private transport system so skim matrices is a matrix that we generate to get the relationship between um, let's say the properties of the relationship between the OD pairs okay so let's say you want to get a scheme of time a scheme of distance so Visum will generate for you a scheme matrix or let's say a matrix or a travel time matrix between each OD pair that shows the congested travel time travel time which is based on the free flow distance impedance speed and so many other um, criteria so before we start with the scheme matrices let's go to calculate 
procedure sequence and let's go to the setting of the procedure okay and the PRT settings there is a schemes here okay here it will show for you the properties of the scheme matrices what is your maximum minimum values what is going to be your diagonal um, values in this example it is zero it is set to be zero so the intrazonal um, travel time is going to be zero you can adjust the value to constant or from an attribute okay also you need to make sure of your um, units okay so in here I have length in kilometers and time in minutes you can play it, change it to meters okay or seconds um, the other thing is your impedance scheme okay in here you can see that you have the name and the code for the scheme matrix okay so you have t0 t current free flow travel time congested travel time free flow speed congested tra um, speed impedance trip distance direct trip distance and the trip distance is the distance between OD pair using the road network however the direct trip distance or the direct distance is the direct um, distance between each zone without using the road network links it's just um, a straight line from each zone centroid to the another okay and you have for add value store and other uh, schemes so you can see for impedance here okay in order to generate these schemes you can go to impedance here and create your own impedance functions that a scheme will be generated based on okay so for example in car you can go to function okay and you can create and type your coefficient and your attribute okay so this is where you can generate your um, impedance scheme okay after you finish from setting your uh, scheme procedure settings click OK uh, so now let's go to create a new scheme matrix okay so go to create matrices and calculate PRT scheme the first thing you need to do here is to choose your demand segment okay so we'll use for a car and then I'm going to edit the scheme matrix in this window uh, the first thing you need to check is whether you want to calculate the scheme matrix with OD pair that they have a demand more than zero or not okay um, your path search criteria could be changed from impedance t current t0 and this impedance where you have already created your function before um, your path assignment okay and the important thing is when you want to calculate your scheme you want to include links turns origin connectors destination connectors sometimes you want to ignore the connectors travel time or connectors distance okay so you can untick these boxes okay in this window you have four columns okay one of them to check which scheme to choose one of them to save the scheme matrix to a file outside vism and whether you want to open the scheme matrix after you calculate it and the type of the scheme okay so I'm going to choose T current okay and T0 so now I have two schemes to be generated uh, you don't want them to be saved in any file and I don't want them to be opened after I finish my scheme matrix okay and I will just calculate for the OD pair with demand more than zero I click OK then I will come to here right click execute mark procedure so it has been done okay so in order to show 
the scheme matrices just go here to matrices sometimes you don't have this tab just go to view matrices okay i know i just hide it so view make sure that your button here is ticked so go to matrices and you can see that i have t t0 and ttc okay and if you put the mouse you can see that it says skim t0 and the skim with t current and of course you have the sum written in both of these matrices and as you can see that that your t current time is more than um, your t0 your t0 is about 700 in here it's about 800 okay so let's open these schemes and see what's going on double click here on this matrix and it will show your matrix i have 30 zones so i have 30 by 30 matrix okay and i'm going to split the window okay so here The nice thing about Visum that you can do synchronization. So if I click on this OD pair from 20 to 6, I can see that this is the OD that I'm going to travel about 1.99 minutes from this zone to the other zone using the road network. Okay. You can check the other OD pairs and it will show for you here. Whenever you click, it will show on your network. Let us open the T current and see what's the difference. Okay, now I'm going to split the windows. Okay, that's a bit. Okay. So now we can compare and see, for example, um, in this OD, which is Six to fourteen. Okay, my TT zero is three point zero four seconds. However, my um, TTC is three point one, so it has been increased a bit. But anyway, that makes sense. Okay, uh, anything in this matrix should be increased because of the T current. Okay, so or it might be stays the same because maybe t current sometimes equal to the t0 when the volume is not very high okay so this will finish the part of the scheme matrices and we'll finish this tutorial as well if you have any questions you can ask me thank you